OK, so let's look at E, C, D, S, A, or elliptic curve digital signature algorithm. This is the method that's used in techniques such as Bitcoin to provide signatures that a transaction is valid. So if we think about it, we have Alice. And here's Alice. And we have Bob. Here's Bob. So Alice wants to send a message to Bob and to prove that she is the one that is uh, signing the message with a digital signature. So for this, as we'll find, Alice takes a hash of the message and then creates a signature. The signature is an R value and an S value. And these two values together make up the signature so that Bob can check. Alice has a key pair. She has a private key and a public key. She will send Bob her public key and sign the message with her private key so that Bob can actually prove that it was Alice that sent the message. So let's say that Alice has a private key of DA. Typically that will be a 256-bit private key number. And what we'll do is we'll use the elliptic curve that is used in Bitcoin. She then creates a public key of Q8, which is equal to DA G, and where G is the base point on the elliptic curve. If we look at an elliptic curve, we have what's called the base point here, and then we add that base point DA times to give us our public key. So this is DA G, which is our public key that Alice will use. Okay, so this is the starting point. We have DA and QA as the uh, Alice's key pair. First, Alice will take the message and then create a SHA-256 of the message. Next, she'll generate a random nonce value. And that random nonce value is somewhere between 0 and n, where n is the order of the curve. And basically, it's the number of points that are possible with inside the elliptic curve. She then takes this r value and calculates a point in the elliptic curve, k times g. And then we'll take the x value of that and also perform a mod n. Next, she will take the inverse mod of k and multiply that with the hash times r times da and then take the mod of that. The signature then becomes r and s. So she'll send that signature along with the message and then when Bob receives, he will also calculate the hash again of the message and calculate the inverse of S mod N. After this, she'll calculate or he'll calculate two values, H times C mod N and R times C mod N. In. So he does then a point addition and he'll take u1, a scalar value, and multiply it by the base point. Then add another point, ui, and this time Alice's a public key. So he has that, 
you'll take the x value and work out mod n and hopefully that will equal r.